faith, grace, love connection is righteousness. Well, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. Wednesday, I believe it's Wednesday. Yeah, it's the 1st of February. February? Yeah, it's the 1st of February. I don't know. Probably, this, 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 sit back, and we're going to learn something. Amen? Praise God. Proverbs 10.3 revisited how to increase kingdom life on earth as it is in heaven. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to hunger, but he will cast away the substance of the wicked. Think about Psalm 23.3. He restored my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake, down paths that bring honor to his name. The Lord restores my soul. Psalm 21, 1. Start off with, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I will not lack any good thing from God. I will not lack any good thing from God. So we see how the word comes together. The Lord shall not suffer the soul of the righteous, un, uh, the righteous to hunger. The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not lack any good thing from God when he restores your soul. Third John 2. <laughs> that answers my question from yesterday, what scripture I was trying to think of. It's Third John 2. You're going to see that. Third John 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper. Moreover, be in health even as your soul prospers. Matthew 5, 6. Blessed are these that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they will be filled. Filled with what? A restored soul with the word and the spirit of righteousness. The soul is your thoughts, your will, your emotions, which dictate your response and actions. When you're filled with righteousness, you are filled with the thoughts of Jesus, bringing your will and emotions in line with, with Jesus, which is having the character of Jesus, causing you to respond with the actions of Jesus. Hallelujah the actions of Jesus because you're thinking like Jesus you got the character of Jesus it's the righteousness of Jesus that he gives to us freely now you are living with a filled prosperous soul and all these things that the world seeks will be added to you Matthew 6 33 and your health will prosper Things are a part of it. Now, when he's talking about that in 633, you know, you know, we're, we're talking about the good things of God. That's what we were looking at here, that, that uh, 23, one that, that starts off, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, or I shall not lack any good thing. So those good things that even the world is clamoring after and toiling after and trying to get their hands on, guess what? When we put ourselves into this, what we're learning here about righteousness, the kingdom of God starts to manifest and the things that, that are a blessing, all good and perfect gifts come from above where there's no shadow of turning, that's in the book of James. And so we start to receive the goodness that could be here with us in this realm of existence. That's what it's talking about and it's so cool how the word comes together. I love you, God bless you, and I'll see you next time.